Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. We're playing Fazbear Pizzeria Simulator today. Wasn't originally going to play this game. But since it was free, figured may as well. There's... Now we did play a little bit of uh, Ultimate Custom Night. We have a couple of videos of those. I'll drop the FNAF playlist up so you guys can see those. Originally I wasn't going to play this game, but since it's free we may as well. Uh, how do I move? Okay. Hold on. I remember this was in the trailer. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh my god. I'm just going to give you something like a seizure. What the hell? Circus baby, what the hell? Scary. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Follow these instructions, document response time, then safely as secure hell. the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Yo, what am I so what? Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two. Oh wait, one. no. I, is it bad that I put both of them? I meant to do no, but I put yes. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Bro, oh, she's creepy as hell. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one.
It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. Like a a gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success kind of in some cases. Know, but I can it what are we talking it. about? Uh, We're talking about food. becoming a Fazbear Sometimes Entertainment franchisee. Do, uh, That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Guys, let me know what you think of sure, these it's a lot of money to invest, doing. but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. Adding more stuff to with your initial investment, you'll receive uh, everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions Pretty and animatronics, game. and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere, Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the I case. Seen some gameplay this, this concludes game. the it's amount of help we are legally obligated now. to provide. Remember, you are now the face like of the newly rebranded Freddy uh, Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Imagine Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Office thing. Uh. Oh, yeah, it's just explaining how to buy stuff. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping.
sorry to help you. <laughs> It's going like way too fast. again. doing better though than the last time. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome! That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you're drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the most terminal likely. itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply okay, so log kind of off like when you've three. completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. How do you exit this? It is creepy in here. Oh my god, it's so sensitive. Uh, maintenance. Uh, 
How do you, like, stop it from doing... I like ordering it or I hope that I think it's just me ordering everything that sound I could help you just sit standing there I think nothing should ha really happens the first night. liking how there's different uh, play styles within this game. It's not like just you sit there and that's it. It gives you the traditional FNAF stuff. I'm assuming as the nights progress, we're going to have to do more of these, uh... Because it's still scanning, there's nothing, uh... Motion being detected. So probably nothing's in here yet. Hopefully. Let me know out of all the FNAF games we've been playing so far, which one's your favorite? Which one do you like me to continue more? Me personally, I've been liking FNAF 3 and uh, what else did we play? Boy, sorry, hold on. No, we can't even afford none of this. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, VR and, and you will have proven mode. yourself as the successful ultimate entrepreneur that we fun. all know you can be. Did a little bit of sister location. I'm not sure if I actually want to finish sister location. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, uh. and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. 
choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. How to use the we are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Is this supposed to be Fun Time Freddy? Like, I think it's Freddy, but was that originally like Fun Time Freddy? Document results. Begin audio prompt in move. three, two, one. Document results. Begin. Shoot, did I make him mad? Audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. What do you say? I didn't hear it that well. Suits okay. Can we unlock these now?
another stage in here. Upgrade the uh, virtual uh, plan. stage I think Save up a bit to get some of the Rockstar animatronics.
and no automated uh, I'm not gonna lie, this one and FNAF 3 is one of my favorite. This one and uh, FNAF 3 are some of my favorite offices. This one, I feel like one of the most uncomfortable because it looks like you're just crammed inside the vents. when I get more like animatronics in the pizzeria will, I, will they start to come oh shoot clown thing. Is it supposed to be like circus baby? Wait, is there something? I knew I heard something. Frig. Warning, this game contains loud noise. This is what you put before the game starts, but we already know it's a FNAF game, but... Okay, we get it. It's fun. Oh, we could have skipped it.
was supposed to be the FNAF 3 house. Or, uh, FNAF 4. Wondering, will these things continue loading while I'm looking? Like, or does it pause the whatever it is it's doing? the fence keeping <laughs> freaking molten freddy whatever the
Okay, yeah, we've seen this already. Like, I wonder what would happen if we were to just leave him in the, uh... If we were to throw him back outside, if he would be able to come back in. Shoot, did I just... Getting hotter. Where is he? guys uh if you like this video make sure to like the video subscribe if you want to see more of this let me know what you think of uh, this game you should continue it i'm kind of enjoying it hope you guys are as well we have other videos types of different games on the channel so check those out see you next time on for another video Okay.